彼女、いつも自発的に私の手伝いをしてくれるけど、たまに熱が入りすぎてて、逆に、ちょっと困ってたり。ある日、実験室の入り口に置いてあった3つの実験器具を、軽々と実験室の中に運んでくれたんだけど、それって私が、やっと外に運び出したばかりのもので、あの子は神団長に何度も反省室に入れられてる。釈放されても彼女はまたすぐ過ちを犯す。えっと、あの子、本当に反省してるのかな安全性の高いボンボン爆弾を作ってあげるって約束もしたけど、でもまだ設計上に問題があって。神団長と話すのは、ちょっと怖い。彼女は真面目すぎるから、とてもいい人だってことはわかってるけど、やっぱり、やっぱり怖いの。普段は彼女の邪魔にならないようにしてる。たとえ彼女に処理してもらうものがあっても私、私はアルベド先生に頼むの。彼女の知識量はとても豊富だと思う。私の研究を見たことないのに、何回も的確なアドバイスをくれたから。彼女、どうしてわかったのかな観察それとも推測でうーん。彼って冗談好きで、悪意がないことはわかってるけど、どっちが本音でどっちが冗談か私には判断できない。だからいつも最後は気まずい雰囲気になるか、私が集大を晒すことになるの。先生のアシスタントになったことで、毎日多くのことを勉強できるようになった。知識というよりは、天才の考え方の勉強かな。どんな複雑な問題でも、先生は一つずつ分析し、解決する。私に言わせれば、あれは芸術そのものかも。テンプの際うん。たとえ先生と同じ研究をしても、多分超えることは一生ないかな。でも私が生物錬金の研究をしてるのは、先生と正面からぶつかるのを恐れたからじゃない。ただ、趣味と夢が違うだけ。気になる。なぜ彼女の人形は、うさぎ伯爵って名前なのうさぎとあんまり関係ないような。ん人形のヘアバンドがうさ耳に似てるからそれはただの先入観。垂れ耳のうさぎもたくさんいるもの。フィッシュル王女物語のことうん、知ってる。あの作者が書く世界観は面白い。実際にあったらいいなと。えあっちのフィッシュルのこと彼女は。うん。彼女が、私をあの世界に連れて行ってくれることはないと思う。She's a very willing helper. I can't deny that. It's just, she makes me a little anxious, is all. One time, she saw three boxes of materials stacked just outside my laboratory door and proceeded to move them inside for me. A nice gesture, but the thing is, I'd only just finished putting them outside. Jean has put her into solitary confinement so many times. But every time she's let out, it's not long before she's back in trouble. <sighs> Something tells me she hasn't done much introspection. I told her I'd make her a bouncing, dancing, jumpy dumpty that is also safe. But to date, there are still a lot of problems with the design. I 
don't dare talk to Master Jean that much. Because she's so strict. I know she's a good person and all. I know that, I do. But I still find her scary. I don't tend to bother her. And even when I have to, I ask Albedo to go on my behalf. She really seems to know a great deal. She's obviously never seen my research. And yet, on so many occasions, she's given me advice on that which is most core to my studies. Just how does she know? Is it observation? Or is it ratiocination? Oh, I know he likes to joke and isn't trying to make fun of me. But I often struggle to work out which parts of what he says are the truth, and which parts are jokes. So, whenever he talks to me, the outcome is usually one of two things. Morbid embarrassment, or unbearable awkwardness. As his assistant, I learn so much each and every day. What's key is not his existing knowledge, but his talented way of thinking. No matter how complex the task at hand, his way of thinking ensures he gets to the bottom of it and is able to explain it thoroughly. His methodologies are amazing. To me, it's where alchemy meets art. Talent? Let's hypothesize that he and I were to perform the same research. I'd still spend my whole life playing catch-up. But... My studying bioalchemy has nothing to do with evading his line of research. We just happen to have different interests and dreams. Nothing more. I'm curious as to why her doll is called Baron Bunny. It clearly has nothing to do with the rabbit at all. Oh. The headband makes it look like it has rabbit ears, you say? Hmm. That's heavily relying on the rabbit stereotype, is it not? Many rabbits' ears are floppy. I take it you're referring to the book series, Flowers for Princess Fischl. Indeed, the world the author came up with is very creative. If only I could go see it with my own eyes. Oh, you're referring to Fischl herself? I am... doubtful that she could really take me there. <laughs> 